Hey, it's Kendra and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you guys my May favorites. I have actually a lot this month, so I thought it'd be a good idea to share them with you guys because I never really try anything new. But before we get into this video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel down below for more videos like these and just to stay up to date with my channel. But without further ado, let's get right into my favorites. So my first favorite, I don't know if I've ever, like if I mentioned this on my channel, if I have, I'm sorry, but my first favorite is the Pond's Face Lotion. Um, it is called the Dry Skin Cream. Uh, I had used the First 80, First 80, the First 80, the First Aid Beauty uh, lotion on my face for a while now. And I just thought it was time to switch. Um, my skin wasn't really liking it anymore, so I wanted to try something else. So I decided to try the Pond's one. I think I mentioned that I was going to try this one, so I don't think I ever told you guys how I liked it, but I do really like it. Um, it's been lasting for a long time now, like two months, two, three months, um, and I haven't even used that much, and I don't even need to use a lot on my face. So that is awesome, and it smells good, and yeah, I really like it. My skin really likes it too. And my next favorite is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer, the Aqua Sealer as it's really called. Um, I know I just did a whole video about this so I don't want to kind of go overkill and like talk about it, but I really love this concealer. It's awesome. It's been working really great with my skin and yeah, it just makes getting ready super quick because uh, it blends in really nicely and yeah, I just really like it. Not a whole lot to say about it. Um, I want to try more from the collection. But yeah, it's a really awesome product and I have been loving it lately. And next is my Beauty Blender, which I know I talked about this in my last video. No, two videos before this. Um, but I have been loving my Beauty Blender so much. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you how much of a lifesaver this product is or this product, this like item is. <laughs> um, it's super nice. I'm really glad I got the nude one. Um, I can't say enough good things about this. I'm sure you guys have heard a ton about the Beauty Blender, um, but yeah, so it's just been working really great for me, and again, it just makes it super quick to blend out my concealer, and it just makes it look like my skin, and it's been awesome. I love it so much, and I don't think I will ever use another product, or another, like, brush or sponge to blend in my concealer or anything, because it's just so amazing. And I keep it in its little... <laughs> the little package that it came in, I sit it on top to dry it out so it doesn't get all gross and like weird. And the next product is the Revlon Lip Butter in, um, what is it, Strawberry Shortcake. I have been wearing this so much lately. If you guys have been asking like what's on my lips, which I'm not wearing it now, I should have thought about that, but um, I have been wearing it so much lately. Um, it's just this like really pretty bright pink color. It's kind of like Barbie pink, but it's not too like bubblegum pop pink, um, if that makes any sense. I just love this color for the spring. It's been kind of cloudy this week, so I haven't been wearing it as often, but when it's sunny, I love wearing this um, and just to kind of brighten up my look. And it just goes on really, really smoothly, and it's really moisturizing, which I love. I'm not a huge fan of like matte lipsticks, although I do like them, but I definitely like lip butters better, um, just because they don't dry out my lips at all, and they keep my lips looking really nice throughout the day, and I feel like it's just easier to apply, just like whip it on real quick, and you don't have to worry about like smudges or anything, um, but yeah, I have been absolutely loving this color. Okay, and the next product, um, I was not expecting to like this, <laughs> I'll just come out and say it, um, so it is the e.l.f. Uh, instant lift brow pencil and I was honestly not expecting much out of this product at all uh, I usually use the boots eyebrow pencil from Target um, and I could not find it anywhere in the store uh, I was actually with my dad and we were looking and like he was trying so hard to find it like really sweet and everything but I just decided to put him out of his misery and I was like okay look I'll just get this elf eyebrow pencil and we can leave because he was just he was trying real hard and we just could not find it. So um, I decided to pick this up and I just got it in like a brown color. I honestly don't even think it has like a color. Oh wait, it does, just kidding. It's in taupe. Um, it's the color taupe uh, 21721. And I really like it. Um, it goes on super easily. It blends in really well. It looks natural. 
Um, I just really like the formula of it and also I really love how it's like a twisty one but it's like a twist top so you don't have to worry about sharpening or anything. It honestly kind of reminds me of the MAC eyebrow pencil. Um, I got that one for a while but like it was ridiculously like it was $15 which like $15 isn't, isn't even that bad but it didn't even last for very long. Like if it lasted for like a couple of months sure but like Honestly, it felt like it just lasted for like one month and like $15 a month for an eyebrow pencil that I can find something for way cheaper that I like just as much. Like, I wasn't about that life. Um, and the spoolie is super nice. It's really big. Um, it's like a lot bigger than any other that I've used. It is kind of rough, but also it's not like too bad at all. Um, and it just blends it in really well with my natural eyebrow. But yeah, I'm just overall super pleased with this product. It's honestly probably my favorite product overall of the month just because I was so surprised about how much I love it. And next is also by e.l.f. Um, it is the Face Brush by e.l.f. Um, I had this really old brush that my mom gave me to set my under eye concealer um, and I just honestly like it was about time to change it like the hairs would fall off it was super rough it was not high quality at all I mean I'm sure like it was nice back in the day but like I just needed to get something and I was just too lazy to like actually go and get it I just kept putting it off and off so finally I was with Joycey and we went to Bartels and I saw this brush and it's like the perfect size. It's really soft. It was like a dollar fifty maybe. Um, so I was like, okay, I can do this. This is super cheap. Like if I don't like it, it's not the end of the world. It's like a dollar. Um, so and I have been loving it. It's really soft. It none of the hairs have fallen off at all, and it really picks up the product super well and kind of disperses it really perfectly. If that makes any sense. Um, yeah, and it just really finishes off my under eye and sets it very well. So yeah, it's been a really awesome face brush. I would definitely recommend e.l.f. for um, makeup brushes. Uh, I don't know why I didn't think of going them sooner because they make one of my favorite like uh, blending brushes that I own. So anyway, they have really good brushes for not a lot of money. So definitely check them out if you are wanting some new ones. Okay, so maybe I lied about the last product being my favorite or the last item being my favorite of the month because behold, look at these Birkenstocks. Come on. How pretty are they? They're copper. I hope they look copper on camera. Um, they are my copper Birkenstocks that I got for my birthday from my parents and I love them so much. Honestly, I just can't even explain how much I love these Birkenstocks. I have somewhat of an obsession with Birkenstocks. Uh, I mean, I only have three pairs right now, but like they're literally the only things that I wear. Um, I already have like my Birkenstock tan lines, which I'm sure I see Rachel watching this, I'm sure they want to like slaughter me with how many times I've said, look at my Birkenstock tan lines. Like I'm just very proud of them, okay? Because it shows that like I'm getting tan. But anyway, um, I just wear them constantly. I'm, that's probably all that I'm gonna wear in Europe this summer is just like my Birkenstocks. I'm just gonna bring them all, just like rotate through them. But my copper Birkenstocks, honestly, like I was kind of worried about like comfort level with them, like because I didn't know if like the bands would be more stiff than my other ones. But honestly, they're probably my most comfortable pair. Um, I don't know if it's just like the bed is softer because it is, I mean, all of mine are soft beds, but maybe this one's just like extra soft, I don't know. But it's so comfortable, my feet feel so great at the end of the day, and um, they're super cute. I've gotten lots of compliments. They look awesome, like on a sunny day, because they look so bright. Um, yeah, they are so pretty. I just love them so much. My obsession with copper is very real right now, and they're just so pretty. I love them so much, I can't even explain. All right, well, those are all of my favorites for the month of May. I haven't really done a favorites video in a long time, so glad that I kind of got these things together to do a favorites for you guys. Leave in the comments down below what your favorites for uh, May are and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you've used any of these products just let me know. I think that's all I have for you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!